We're outside of Darwin, Minnesota, and we're going to visit with Francis Johnson. That is, whenever we can find Mr. Johnson. It's not really hard to spot Mr. Johnson's place. There's uh, just something about it that catches your eye. Mr. Johnson! Mr. Johnson! There's got to be at least 30 different varieties of plows, old grinders, wagons, bathtubs, cultivators, grinding wheels, wagons. There's the most incredible assortment of anything here. The only thing I can't seem to find is the man who's collected it all. Mr. Johnson! We tried. Mr. Johnson is not here. All his stuff is here. And that brings us to the main reason that we came to see Mr. Johnson in the first place. Francis Johnson is the possessor of the largest ball of twine in the world. 30 years ago, Francis Johnson started collecting cast off twine from the farmers in the area. Tied end to end and tightly wound, it now weighs over five tons. A good 20 years ago, there was a controversy over this ball of twine. You see, there's another ball of twine, and it claimed to be the largest in the world. So they flew them all to New York, and they weighed them, and this ball won. Of course, that was 20 years ago. It was much smaller then. It's grown, and it'll keep growing. I guess as long as Francis Johnson has got strength, <laughs> more twine. Mr. Johnson, I'm a patient man. And I may just sit here until you get home. And I'm going to pass the time and wind some twine. And I just might get lucky. I just might beat your world's record. If I can figure out some way to keep my twine from getting tangled. Near Darwin, Minnesota, this is Andy Johnston. Look, this may only take 30 years.